For the following exercises, graph the absolute value function and plot at least five points by hand for each graph. Okay. So this one was a series of questions. We already did the two uh, that was previous to this question um, in the last video. So if you want to check out, if you guys are on the playlist, we have a whole absolute value function playlist. So check that out. Um, link will be in the description and also uh, the playlist is at the end where the end screens are. So check that out. But for now, let's just get down to it. So we have to plot at least five points. We're going to do five points, right? We don't want to do more than five. So what I normally like to do is I always like to get a zero for X in the graph. So a zero for X would be starting at the origin. It's a nice place to see, you know, what's, what's going on with the graph. So I will definitely choose a zero for an X. Now we just need four more points. So to get the whole scope of things, I like to get some negative X values in there and some positive X values in there. So it really doesn't matter what X values you pick. You just got to pick five of them. Um, but for, for me, I'm going to do maybe, I don't know, a negative one and then maybe a negative three. And then I will, you know, do the opposites just so that everything is nice and symmetrical and see, you know, what's up. So one and then three. Cool. These are my three, the, actually, these are my five X values, which I will be plugging in for X. And we have to solve for the Y components. And that's what's going to go over here. So let's do the first one. I'm going to do the first one over here. So Y equals, let's start from the top. So we'll say Y equals the absolute value of negative three plus one. Okay, now here's the math. Absolute values, if you have just a number in there, that comes first. You're doing that function first, and then you add one. The plus one is outside of the absolute value function, so that comes last. But now, what is the absolute value of a negative number? Absolute values will always give you the positive answers. So if you have a negative three, the absolute value doing the actual function is going to say, no, no, this is really a three. So that's the first thing. So now it turns into a three. And since you did the absolute value, you get rid of the little lines there. And now it's just plus one. So three plus one is a four. So that's my first Y number. So that goes over here. So I have a point at negative three comma four. Now I have to do the same for the next X. And then we just keep going until we have done all of the five. So absolute value of negative one plus one. We got to do the absolute value first. Y equals the negative one. The absolute value of a negative always turns into a positive. So this would just be now one plus one. So one plus one is two. And that's the Y coordinate for the second one. So we have a Y of two now. So here's your two points so far. Now let's do the next one. Y equals the absolute value of zero plus one. Now, fun fact, zero is not positive nor negative. So this you have to keep just the way that it is. So the absolute value of zero is always zero. And then zero plus one, y is equal to one. So that's our third point. Pretty easy, right? Just practice with math. Y equals the absolute value of, I'm going to plug in the one now. So Y equals the absolute value of one plus one. Well, now here it's already a positive. So Y equals the absolute value of a positive number is going to be the same number because absolute values always give out the positive answer. So one plus one Y equals two. So that goes here. And then last one, y equals the absolute value of, we plug in a three plus one. This is already a positive number. So the absolute value of three is 
You guessed it. Three. And three plus one is four. And there is your fifth point. So here are your five points. Let's now just plug them in. I will start from top to bottom. So I'm going to do negative three. So one, two, three. And then going up four. So one, two, three, four. We have a point here. Negative one would be somewhere over here. And then you got to go up two. So that would be here. One, uh, zero comma one. So zero at the X. And then you go up one. So here we go. One comma two would be here. Terrible at connecting, drawing the dots. And then three, one, two, three, going up four. We have something like this. And there is your nice little graph. Look at that. Ooh, that looks really nice. Now we just have to draw the line. So something like this. Whee! And then it bounces back. That's beautiful. Put your little arrows signifying that, yes, this graph, you know, keeps going on and on and on and on until infinity and negative infinity. Um, and yeah, that's it. And just, just know, guys, anytime that you see a V or a shape of a V, it could be like a mountaintop as well, if it's inverted. That's always a telltale sign that you have an absolute value graph of some sort. So absolute value graphs are always going to give you this little V or a mountaintop. Okay, guys, what'd you think? This was fun. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And if you want to help us out, please hit the subscribe button and tell your classmates, you know, spread the word. Tell your friends about this channel if they have, if they need math help. We love helping you guys out. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. I'll see you guys all in the next video and check out these playlists. Um, we have so many different math playlists, all for you guys. So check it out. See you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye.